guys, today it's about sunscreen, all about sunscreen, physical against chemical. Which one is better or maybe the combination? How they do really work? You want to know more? You should now stay with me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Who doesn't know me? My name is Dr. Liv Kruma. Everybody is calling me Dr. Liv. I'm a board certified dermatologist talking about skincare, skin food, and everything that makes skin more glowing. So, welcome and hello back, everybody who haven't seen me for a while. Um, I really appreciate all your comments. I try to answer them on my flight, on my train uh, rides, or wherever. So, uh, but be aware that I can't really get into detailed questions. I collect them and will do a QA very soon soon. So hit the notification bell to get updated if I post some new things. Um, and today I'm here still in beautiful Zurich because I have my clinic here in beautiful Switzerland. And let's talk about sunscreen, very important, uh, but also now the differences about physical versus chemical sunscreen. What are the differences and what is it actually if we talk about these two big words? So, sunscreen, physical, chemical. Um, everybody thinks, oh, chemical must be bad. Physics sounds so much better. So, first of all, guys, you have been in school and you know physics and biochemistry or chemistry is coming from nature. We are learning from the nature. So nature is actually chemistry and physics. Without them, we wouldn't exist. So, just because we say chemical, it doesn't mean it's bad, right? So, but let's look a little bit more into detail. So everybody who knows me as a patient or because you followed my Instagram or my YouTube channel, um, you know that I love to draw because things makes things so much easier to understand the scientific background because not all of you are physicians. I know a couple of you are medical students. Uh, hi guys. Um, uh, but everybody who haven't been in med school, haven't been in chemistry, haven't been in pharmacology, you have to understand things, chemical, physical things as well, right? Because power is coming from knowledge. Um, my mentor always said to me, and this is a sentence I always keep in my mind, what the brain doesn't know, the eyes will never see. So coming back now to the skin and odor to understand a little bit more about these two big words about sunscreen. Uh, by the way, sunscreen could be a lotion, could be a gel, could be cream. I don't know why everybody is looking for creams. If you are having problems with acne prone skin or rosacea, please look for gels. This is just a small hint. Okay, let's go back. So this is a couple stone wall, right? This is the upper layer of the skin. We call epidermis, but let's don't think too medical, right? Let's just look at very easy facts. So this is a couple stone wall. This is the top. This is the lower part. So UVA and UVB. B are very important rays from the sun. Of course, there's so much more rays in between and it's a visible light. We don't want to go into physics. You see, it's physics. So, okay, so UVB, it's something what is interested, but the SPF factor is just referring to UVB. But UVA is actually so much more important to get protected against UVA. Why? Because UVA is really penetrating deep into the skin and makes you exactly wrinkles because it makes a collagen breakdown. Okay, going back to sunscreen. Physical sunscreen is working like a reflector. So you have particles on top, right? Like titan dioxide, zinc dioxide, and these are working like protection shields, exactly, like shields. Because if you use this most of the time of these physical sunscreen, mostly also used in sunscreen for kids, uh, they're leaving you a white kind of appearance on your skin. At least there are very tiny particles, we call nanoparticles, which getting better spread all over. However, they're working as protection shields. What do I mean is if the ray is coming, 
hitting the particles, they got reflected. Exactly, just reflected by these physical filters. Now, some people say it's great, but just think about if you're sweating, if you're touching yourself, if, uh, however, um, just like removing by scrubbing, you also most of the time removing the physical sunscreen. Um, some of them are really sticky on top, but give them most of the time a gray or whitish appearance. I'm personally not such a fan about pure physical sunscreen. I'm very pale, but if I'm using just a physical sunscreen, I look really sick. So, okay, let's look on chemical sunscreen. Everybody's screaming now, I am hearing you. Oh, chemistry is bad. Okay, guys, think about what you say. Chemistry is just all reaction nature. Okay, so, but what is a chemical filter? It is something, yes, it goes down there, but it hasn't access to your blood flow. It's just really being in this couple stone layer. Mm -hmm. And what happened, it, a chemical sunscreen works like a wave breaker. Yeah, again, really, you guys know what I mean. If you were having a great flow on your, uh, on the, um, uh, board, right? Uh, you love the waves, great. And uh, the UV is a big wave. High energy, very problematic because the high energy is destroying the cells down there, right? So if you don't want to have waves because you want to swim, you have a wave breaker in front of the beach, right? And this wave breaker is exactly this is your chemical sunscreen. Because what happened if this heavy energy wave is hitting these particles, it is kind of losing its energy and is not harmful anymore because it is most of the time coming into very low energy way or kind of a warm heat waves. Anyway, two different things, physical reflection, chemical heavy energy gets kind of loses its energy by hitting the the chemical filters and being transferred in a low energy way, which is not harmful to your cells. So a combination of both is obviously the best, right? So everything would could be reflected without giving you a whitish kind of appearance. And a, have, and a chemical filter which works like a wave breaker is ideally to protect your skin against the harmful way of the sun. And as you've seen in all my other videos, like um, my vlog from New York, or even how, the, how I get a healthy tan, um, it is so important to protect your skin against the heavy waves of the sun. And particularly not just against the UVB, which is always referring from the SPF factor, always make sure that there is a UVA sign on the package or it says broad spectrum. So here in Europe, um, most of the time, the number, if it's SPF 50 or 30, one third had to be a UVA protection inside as well. But always make sure that the UVA sign is on because then you're absolutely sure. In the States, it's a little bit different because the filters are FDA approved. So it's a totally different discussion right now there because they really have not many filters uh, available. Uh, Europe is right now there a little bit better because really you have much better filters on the market. But anyway, it's a huge discussion. I don't want to go into details right now. Um, just want to make sure that you understand the difference between chemical and physical sunscreen and you don't have to be afraid because chemistry doesn't mean harmful, right? Both are absolutely safe. And in a combination, I think you are perfectly safe against the harmful way from the sun if you want to protect your skin against wrinkles, against dark spots, pigmentations, or against rednesses. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumb up if you liked it. Switch me off if you don't. Anyhow, I would love, love, love if you give me some comments down there. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, look my other videos about sunscreen, also how to apply the sunscreen. Uh, and yeah, switch me on next time if it's Ice Block Lift because I love beauty. Bye guys, love you all.